hey guys welcome to another episode of videos in this playlist we will discuss about how to develop continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline for sql server my previous videos are a little bit long so i'll try to divide this video in two part i'll develop a continuous integration in a single part and continuous delivery in a different video list so sql server is provided by microsoft it's the microsoft's data platform so once you develop something once you develop the database you need to migrate it to your dev branch or your uat branch or your production branch so we can actually go for manual uh, deployment uh, manually we just uh, go and copy paste everything and we will deploy it to dev or uh, uat but if what if we have uh, multiple environments like we have uh, five six environments so it will be a very tedious task to do manually so we will definitely go for automations over here so mainly we will do the devops pipeline for this thing so let me share the second slide so this is the basic workflow we will discuss in this video we will only going to build the pipelines we will create the pipeline for build process then once the build process will be done in next video i will create the release pipeline so what exactly the build pipeline and release pipeline if you want to uh, go through or uh, you can search my previous videos as well for those things so it's a simple architecture we will uh, develop something in our uh, local branch local repository then we will push it to the master branch of git repo then once the push will complete we will trigger a build pipeline so just like uh, .NET has .dll file for build uh, sql server has .dacpack file so this is the file which uh, contains all those changes and all so uh, the, one of the advantages of uh, dacpack file is it will only going to contain all those changes it will not going to override anything over there it will going to contains the changes and once it will deploy uh, to any kind of server like we have uh, suppose we have three sql server over here it's azure sql server so it's like uh, day we have dev, dev sql database uat sql database and prod sql database so once the dacpack file will be deployed over here nothing will be changed except the changes new upcoming changes okay the other things will be remaining same and the data will be remaining same but the new upcoming changes will be there so how exactly we will do i will uh, go for a uh, setup i will show you so this is my azure devops and i have already created one sql ci cd sample project so let me share with you this one is my organization and here it's my project it's my new project if i will go here if i will go to repo files you can see that i have already uh, maintained a git repository over here and it is the master pipeline there is no other pipelines as there is no other branches over here it's just the master branch so it's just a solution file over here there is nothing over here so let me share my sql server so this is my local sql server i have actually connected to this azure function sample database uh, don't go for the naming convention i did not create anything from scratch i have a dv over here so i'm just trying to migrate it to dev environment or uat or any kind of environment over here so this uh, sample database has a single table like feedback form over here and uh, uh, it has a single stored procedure over here i think it has two stored procedure over here like sample procedure sample procedure one so what sample procedure is doing just select star from dbo.feedback form that's it now this is my local uh, database let me go to azure i need to show you something over there 
so this one is my azure uh, portal and i have already created one database known as ci cd sample db i have already created this one but this doesn't have any uh, tables at all so i can share it i can uh, show it to you as well just uh, give me one minute if you want to connect we will connect uh i think the server name would be same i just need to correct the password i'm collecting the password right now so Okay, I got it and uh, we will try to connect with the Azure SQL database. It's one kind of sample database over here. Oh, so this thing will come up again and again if the firewall connection, firewall setting has not been done properly. Then if I will go to here and set path firewall, I will just add my client IP over here and save it. Once this will be saved, now it should connect. Let me try once. Uh, it will take a little bit time. Yes, it got connected. Now we can see that uh, we have uh, our SQL server, our Azure SQL server over here. And uh, it's a sample SQL server I have created. And here we have the CICD sample DB. Just a spelling mistake over here. Don't worry about it. Uh, if I will go to D tables, it will it doesn't have any tables. I think we will check if it has or not. So it doesn't have any tables, and it doesn't have any stored procedures as well. I think. So now we will. Uh, just copy our entire thing entire uh, local database to the source control then we will create the build file over there then we will deploy all those things to here by using continuous integration and continuous delivery so how to do that go to your visual studio where the git repo has been created properly now just start a new project uh, you can add it from here or I already have SQL Server Object Explorer. It would be better if you will use this thing because it will directly show you once you will connect to your local server, it will show you your database. Now I will right click, I will create a new project for here. So what this thing will do, this thing will uh, actually make a SQL Server project over your solution file. Let me show you how this thing is going on. Azure, I, I will uh, just name it as CI CD sample DB and it should be inside your locations solution file. Let me check. Yes, over here. I already have it. Now this one is my solution file. I'll select it. Now no create new solutions and everything looks good. Yeah, everything looks good. I will start implementing it. What it does, it will create a, a SQL Server project in your uh, solution file and it will copy everything everything from table to uh, table schema every kind of schema it will copy it will not copy all those datas it will only copy schemas so what kind of schema it will collect it can uh, anything you if you have a table if you have a stored procedure if you have a function it will collect everything from your local uh, uh, database and it will store it in a uh, 
in the SQL Server project. Now the import of database schema has already started. We will wait a little bit. Once this thing will get done, we will proceed further. Now importing is uh, going on. We'll wait for some time. It will finish. Now it got finished. Now I'll click on finish. I'll go to the solution explorer. Now see uh, this uh, database come up over here. So we already have a feedback form over here. We'll just see whether you have. Yes, we already have a feedback form over here. We should have two stored procedure. Yes, exactly. Two stored procedures are also there. Now this is the solution project. If I will go here over here to my git changes. Uh, well, uh, git changes, uh, you might not see the git changes. You might see the previous version of GUI. That's fine. Uh, you can count around those things. Now, what this thing comes up with, this, uh, this is the stored procedure. This is the table and this is the SQL project. Now, I'll add it to my source control, to my uh, origin source control. Uh, my I have already created a master branch. I'll push it to the master branch. Add uh, SQL DB to source. Okay, I will commit it and I will push it directly. Save it, push it, just wait for a couple of seconds. It's initializing the push and it will complete the push. Okay, now it got successfully completed and it successfully mastered to the origins. Now I'll go over here and let me refresh my repo. It should contain those files. Yeah, see it already got created. The C SQL project got created and DBO has stored procedure and tables. Right now what we will do, we will go for the build pipeline. It will be as simple as it is, just like uh, your uh, your uh, web apps. Just just in similar way, it will be created. We'll go to the pipelines. We will go to pipelines, create new pipelines. I don't use ML file over here. I can choose classic editor or you can go for the YAML file. Uh, if you will be going for the YAML file, YAML file make sure that uh, you will be following to the Microsoft documentation. It has a great thing on there. You can manipulate and you can tweak it. It will be very much easy for you to do all those tasks. Now I have my repo in Git repo. So I will connect it. I have already connected to the SQL CICD sample and mastered uh, branch. I don't have any other master branch. Now I will create the CI uh, pipelines. For those, uh, I will select the .NET desktop over here. Now, once the desktop, uh, you will select those things. What exactly these things are doing? This will actually build your solution. Uh, forget about this thing. This will. This is not uh, really required. It is to restore and it is to uh, publish all your NuGet packages again, and mostly to restore the NuGet packages. That's it. Uh, we don't need any uh, test verification over here. We will remove this, and we can also remove this thing. No worries on that. So main cheese, main thing is uh, we will go for the build solution. So now this thing will actually build all those projects inside the solution file. We are pointing to the master branch. So in master branch we have .sln file. Uh, let me show you in my Visual Studio. So this actually has the .sln file over here. If you could so see this is the solution file over here now it has the file so it will collect all those projects over there and it will create the builds for them now for configuration it will collect all those things from build configurations uh, you you can set it up over here in the variable it 
it is release and build 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 platform is any cpu you can go for 36 bit uh, 32 bit or 64 bit anything like that now i have already done those things now i will get for i will go for the agent job now agent job i will choose uh, azure pipeline would be more more than enough for us now in agent specification uh, make sure that you need to choose uh, windows 2019 uh, because uh, if this will be a dotnet core 3 or higher version of uh, application it might not work on windows 2016 i didn't remember exactly what kind of error i got but it was not working previously so for the sake of now i will go for windows 2019 over here and demands it is uh, telling that ms builds should be there and visual studio should be there uh, everything looks good over here i will just change it to ci cd build ci cd build okay now I'll, i can change it uh, let's not worry about it okay fine now if i will go to build solution over here everything looks good uh, the version is visual studio version is latest and build platform we will get from the variable build configurations also we will get from the variable no issues on that and then i will copy the files to the artifacts staging directory so once those things get complete it will go to the artifacts staging directory uh, once the build will complete I will show you where those things will go now once those things complete it will create the artifact it will create a drop folder drop folder inside that it will actually store the DAC pack file it's as simple as it is uh, if you if, if you want to change something over here you can change you can change the artist artifact staging directory path also you can change your, your virtual uh, machine which will uh, actually build those things uh, you can choose anything over here now everything looks fine uh, we can go for 7q let's see what will happen if everything goes well uh, it should deploy to the CI CD dev server I'm whatever the thing I have in the Azure SQL DB I'll go for a comment add build pipeline and now it is choosing everything looks fine over here Azure DevOps pipeline branch master okay we will go for save and run and we will wait and see what exactly we're uh, looking into the run has started i have refreshed it let's see if the run had started or not if something goes wrong yeah run got started we can go for the logs over here i will click it and we can check the logs uh, if everything goes well, it will actually deploy the DAC file and we can see the DAC file. Now the build is going on. NuGet restored got completed. Hopefully this will not give you a, give us error because of the .NET Code 3.1 or higher version. No, it didn't got error and the artifact got uh, created we can go here and we can check the artifact now drop go to here ci cd bin release now this is the dac file which has to be deployed uh, i will create the continuous delivery pipeline in the next video i hope the build section uh, got clear to you uh, as this video is getting a little bit more long i will uh, definitely go for uh, segregating those videos it will be a good uh, learning curve for you you can build your own pipeline right now thanks anyway thanks uh, your love and support uh, please like comment and share for this uh, videos it will help me a lot
to develop.